Welcome again everybody to a new session uh, in which we will talk about uh, some errors that are uh, seen uh, when we are using uh, the angle bisecting technique and in this bite wing radiograph you can see that this radiograph actually uh, has uh, two uh, mistakes done or two mistakes were done the first one is the clear con cutting over here this part is not exposed and as we agreed this is due to the uh, incomplete coverage or incorrect coverage or misalignment with the direction of the cone with the uh, with the film so this part of the uh, of teeth wa was covered and apparently there was no film to register the or no sensor to register the image so and this part the other part which should be covered was not so uh, the area was completely unexposed so this is the first mistake the second mistake is the incorrect horizontal angulation if you see this area over here and this area as well you see that there is overlapping margins of the of teeth one over the other here it's we can say well it's al almost okay but in this area this area this area there of course this is completely uh, inaccurate so uh, there is clear overlapping of um, uh, margins of teeth this results from the incorrect horizontal angulation the x-ray failed or the, the cone was not oriented properly so, th so that the x-ray will pass in between the teeth and this is the, uh, the result another radiograph of the same patient uh, and here you will see that the horizontal angulation was well we can say it's almost okay but in this radiograph you will see that the placement of the film was incorrect and this happens in bite wings radiographs when the film is pushed too much downwards so it is a mixture of a periapical which is not correct because the periapical area is not showing and at the same time uh, it's a bite wing but the bite wing should show the upper and the lower teeth and it is also not showing okay so we must take care when we place the film before we ask the patient to close we should check that the bite wing tab is uh, set, set in the middle of the exposure side of the sensor okay so that when the patient bites we will have equal coverage of the upper and the lower teeth another bite wing of this patient and the same problem is repeated concat one and the second one is the overlapping margins so this has resulted from the incomplete coverage of the sensor see the teeth over here the margins are overlapping one over the other the problem here is that why why do we take a bite wing radiograph basically we take a radiograph bite wing radiograph to see the interproximal areas of teeth and the level of the alveolar bone so if there is overlapping margins then we will not be able to see the uh, uh, the contact points and in this area if you notice even not only the the uh, uh, proximal surfaces were uh, 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 masked also the alveolar bone crests were also masked by the overlapping of the tooth of the image of the tooth on the alveolar crest so this radiograph is totally uh, not useful especially for the lower uh, the molars the upper and the lower molars however the film positioning if you compare it to the previous radiograph the film position is correct so uh, why because it is uh, there is equal coverage of both upper and lower teeth but the co the coverage of the cone was incorrect so we ended up with cone cutting uh, uh, and the horizontal angulation of the of the beam was incorrect so the x-ray did not pass in between the teeth 
which led to the uh, overlapping of the margins. In this radiograph, which is kind of ex uh, uh, acceptable, why? Because the coverage is complete, there is no concutting, the x-ray has passed uh, correctly in between the teeth you see see how beautifully the contacts are separated but we, when we go to the molars okay the molars here it shows uh, a fairly considerable amount of overlapping so if we are interested in this area then it is acceptable but the molars no see the inter uh, the alveolar crest here and the uh, interproximal surfaces they overlap. This does not mean that we accept half of the radiograph and we uh, f f uh, overlook the other one. If the radiograph has to be correct, it has to be all correct. Okay? So there is no concatting uh, here. Film position is okay. Ho uh, the, horizon uh, the vertical angulation is okay as well, but the horizontal uh, angulation wa uh, was not properly directed, especially in the uh, molar teeth. There are problems in this radiograph. First of all, the premolars. Well, we can we can say it is acceptable. Okay, this is the canine four and five, lower canine four and five. Okay, uh, but the molars again there is a failure to. Uh, direct the beam uh, properly so uh, there was some kind of overlap uh, the molars over the premolars so the x-ray has come from a distal relatively from a distal direction uh, uh, so another radiograph of course another radiograph should be done um, um, either way because uh, we do peri we do bite wing radiographs for premolars in a single radiograph and we do another radiograph to cover the molars. We cannot join the premolars and the molars in a single film unless we have the size 3 film which is a, a, a long film that can cover the, uh, the all the posterior teeth in a single film which is not always available so wh what we do is that we go for two sections one for the premolars, two radiographs, one for the upper and the lower premolars and another one for the upper and the lower molar teeth. This is an example of a relatively good radiograph for the molar teeth, six, seven, six, seven. Okay, however, uh, b b how would I say that this is a good radiograph? Because the horizontal angulation is okay, a vertical angulation is okay, completely covered film or sensor. But there is a mistake here, a small mistake over uh, here. The film is slanted. You can see that the coverage of the lower teeth is more than that of the uh, upper teeth. It means that the film did not follow the uh, arch of the teeth, so uh, it has gone uh, pushed downwards. What we need to take care second time uh, is that we the the film position, okay, should follow exactly the same. Uh, uh, curvature of the teeth so that I would have uh, equal coverage of the upper and the lower teeth because you can see here the distal area of the upper seven is not shown the uh, alveolar crest hardly shows over here but in this area it is very well seen so next time we need to put the film and make sure that the film position or the film takes the same curvature of the arch so that I would guarantee that the upper and the lower teeth will be equally displayed on the uh, sensor. Have a look on this radiograph. The, this radiograph uh, it has a number of uh, mistakes. The first one as you can see is uh, the uh, unequal coverage of the upper and the lower teeth. Again, the film is more towards covering the, post, uh, the lower teeth. See the difference between the amount of the tooth displayed of the upper seven here and the one which is displayed in the, uh, uh, sorry, upper eight and the lower eight. Okay, so this is one. Incorrect film positioning so that the film failed to follow the same curvature of the arch. This is one. 
Second is that we have incorrect horizontal angulation. And this is uh, 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 evidenced by the overlapping of the uh, uh, proximal surfaces of, uh, uh, of teeth, one over the other. And the third thing, have a look here. You can see that the upper teeth appear longer than the lower teeth. It means that the, co uh, the uh, uh, vertical angulation was not uh, correct here. The, the cone here was not given a plus 10 degree so that it follows the same tilt of the sensor when it was placed in the, uh, inside the uh, uh, oral cavity. So, in one part, the uh, vertical angulation was correct, so we, there was no uh, elongation, but in the other part, the vertical angulation was incorrect, so it just, uh, uh, the teeth appeared uh, uh, elongated. And the proper the, uh, the, the, the to avoid this, we have to give a plus 10, plus 10. It means that the cone di is directed plus uh, downward 10 degrees just to, comp to compensate for the uh, uh, tilt of the film. So, uh, incorrect horizontal angulation, incorrect film placement, and incorrect uh, vertical angulation. Another radiograph, a number of mistakes. One, incorrect uh, uh, placement of film, incomplete, I mean, unequal coverage of the upper and the lower teeth. And this has, this is because we did not follow the same curvature of the arch of the teeth. Okay, so the film was pushed more downwards, thus it has covered more of the lower teeth. One. Two, there is a uh, uh, overlap uh, of the interproximal surfaces of teeth, of the upper teeth in particular, and this is because of the incorrect horizontal angulation. Okay? The, con the film coverage or the sensor coverage on the other hand and the vertical angulation were correct because the length of the teeth, there is no elongation of the images. So we failed here in the film placement and in the uh, uh, horizontal angulation.